Hi guys, good afternoon to all of you. Today, I am bringing you a very important topic. It is about unemployment and how it affects women. Now, it is at 1.5 billion is estimated to be the number of people that are not employed. 1.5 billion, the whole wide world, 1.5 billion people are not employed and majority comes from Africa here majority comes from Africa here North Africa is the worst when you talk about unemployment so today I want us to look into unemployment and how it affects women now if you look at most of the African women they are not employed the employment is not there but if you compare those who are employed that is the men and the women you will realize that women are those that are mostly affected when it comes to unemployment so because of that most women in Africa are into the non-formal sector they are into the non-formal sector so what happens here is it because of lack of education we all know that in Africa here a lot of women are not educated that one for sure everybody is aware of that most women in Africa here are not employed so though the employment situation is worse here even those who are employed look at the challenges they are facing to find employment what about those who are not educated so mostly the women that we have in Africa here most of them go into trading that is they go into business either buying and selling or they are into like I already said the non-formal sector whether they are doing seamstress hairdressing learning a trade or what they can do to survive now if you look at how it will affect women, especially in Africa here, unemployment is affecting so many women in Africa here. And because of that, they find, their, they find ways in me to survive. Or they find, they, they normally try to seek help from people especially men especially men what I know is that women hardly help women that is my opinion because mostly it is the men that have the money it is the men that have the money so if a young girl is growing up or is in financial difficulty she's not getting employment she has completed school she's not getting employment and then um, the parents are not well to do let's say they are not able to take care of her. we all know that in Africa here yeah, as soon as you get to 18 years you are supposed to fend for yourself so in case you get to 18 years or 19 20 you complete school no job for you and you're a girl what will you do what will you do most of these women or most of these ladies tend to seek help from men and by so doing men take advantage of them either you give me sex or I will help you either you give me sex or I will help you the reason why I am relating this topic to sex is that you know nowadays it is very very difficult for men for people to help genuinely people don't help genuinely anymore what they do is give me what you want and I also give you what you, you want give me what I want and you also give me what I want this is what is going on in the African continent because of lack of employment if you compare the employment rate when it comes to women to the advanced countries like America the European countries or even part of Asia you will see that 
they are far 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 better than the women in africa here that is the more reason why you see a lot of our women they go into prostitution and they end up destroying their lives they end up having problems they end up attracting diseases so many problems that they can get when they go into this kind of uh, business because no man will give you money without asking for sex nowadays it is impossible for a man to ask a woman to to help a woman without sex even if they claim they are helping you at the long run they are going to demand for sex this is the reason why i am relating unemployment to prostitution or how um it can affect the african woman look african women are ready to work some of them are hard to working some of them are hard to working normally i always want to believe that it is the lazy ones that are going into this kind of thing because of in the name no employment but the those who are ready to work those who are willing to work they are into trading or they are into apprenticeship where they learn trade like gym dress hairdressing uh, making of cakes there are a lot of things that these young young girls can go into but at times it even depend on money because when they are going to seek for these jobs they ask for money they they have to get a certificate at the end of their apprenticeship so they have to pay some money to the owner of the shop and even some of them charge around 500 700 thousand thousand two hundred some of these ladies are willing to ask or willing to go and learn this trade but they don't have jobs they don't have the money they don't have the cash so what do they do they tend to go to men to seek for help and at the end of the day men take advantage of them take them to bed some of them will disappoint them even after having sex with them without giving them any penny some of them in the name of god they also help them but we have to see unemployment as a challenge in africa here because the rate at which it is causing problems in Africa here is, is too much because if you look at the, the unemployment rate, it is bad. You can't even, it is, it, is, it is sad. It is sad. It's too low. How can you have a country where unemployment is about 70%? What on earth is going on? What on earth is going on? And every year is supposed to reduce but what do we see it keep increasing because as men half of half for the men most of them go into like I said welding carpentry um, medicine there are a lot of other jobs that men can do that women cannot do so those men who are not employed they are able to go into this kind of business or trade in order to survive but the woman how many women can do carpentry how many women can do barbering how many women can do welding how many women can do let's say um meat to be even a driver meat how many women can do that i'm not saying they cannot do but how many women are willing to go into this trade it is not there. That is why it, the unemployment it affects more women than the men. That is the point I'm trying to put across here. And because of that, women think that okay, since I don't have unemployment, I, I don't have employment, I don't have anybody to help me. What am I going to do? They tend to sell what they have. They 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 tend to sell their body in order to make a living. I am not saying that most of those these ladies who are doing prostitution or the rest is because of um, they don't have job. Some of them, if you even give them job, they don't they don't want to do it again because they want fast money. But there are some of them who went into this business because 
of financial problems. They are not employed. They are ready to, to find a trick, but the money to even go and register is not there. That is the more reason why I strongly believe that it is something we have to look at, especially the African woman. The African woman is in dire need of help. Seriously speaking, because like I said already, most of the men can do a lot of jobs, like I mentioned, that women cannot do. They are willing to do, but how many of them are into or are going into those kind of trade? That is the point here. So they tend to go to men for help. And these men end up either helping them and sleeping with them, or they sleep with them without necessarily giving them the promise. It is sad. So I strongly believe that all African governments should wake up and look into women that are in, unemployed. They should try their possible best to provide women, especially the African woman, they should provide them certain amenities, certain helps. I know a part government has done a lot of few, few things to help the African women, but it is not enough. It is not enough. And, and we all know that if the whole wide world, or even every country, women are more than. The ratio between men and women, women are more than men. So if women are more than men, then most of our focus should be, um, should, should be um, with the women in order for us to help them, those who don't have employment, we get them into trade, we get them into businesses, and set them up in order for them to stop being on the road selling their body men doesn't do prostitution even if a man go patronize a show or prostitute the man is not they will never call the man a prostitute but they will rather call the woman a prostitute it is the women who stand by the road or who seek for help who sell their bodies men don't sell their bodies so we have to focus on the women and try our possible best as a country to actually help women. I strongly believe that when governments, incoming government or government in power, they are able to set some funds to help these young young ladies who are roaming around, sleeping with men, getting pregnant, giving birth uninvited, and then they are increasing the population and the people they are bringing up to increase the population they are not valuable when i say they are not valuable it simply means that they don't add value to society you see when you have a population that most of them don't add value to society then it is it is sad if you don't add value to society then you are rather a burden to society you are you are either a burden to society or you add value to society. This is what I am trying to put across. So, African leaders, governments, they should try their possible best and focus 70% of their effort in elevating the African woman because they actually need help. Like I said, because of unemployment, most of them are into prostitution, selling their body doing ungodly things just to survive. If we are able to set these women up, set these young young ladies up, put them into school, the girl child must go to school. No matter what, they must go to school. And this is the only way we can help to prevent these things in the future. Even if we cannot um, help what is happening now, we can plan that in five years time, 10 years time, we don't want to see an African girl, we don't want to see an African lady selling their body on the street because of lack of money. It can never be done 100%, but at least we can be able to reduce the percentage. In that way, we will be able to know that in 20 years time, 30 years time, the African woman will be equipped with all that they need in order for them to, 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 to um, be add value to society, add value to their country, and be able to help themselves. This is what I believe we should start doing now, because it is sad. 
lack of un unemployment is causing a lot of problems to African women and by, by because of those difficulties they tend to sell their bodies for a living. This is what is worrying me and as a content creator I will always make sure that we bring things that we, we, we talk about topics even you never know one day one day somebody might hear you and take action on it so we need to keep fighting we need to keep talking who knows one day one day somebody will hear your cry and then come to the aid of women that is all that i have for you today i hope everyone will watch this video and then let's all take the advice that we sit here it will help us to help us thank you very much and as usual may god bless us all bye bye